I was working and then I leaned forward my desk and then all of a sudden I felt a sharp pain. It was really painful so I quickly go and check on it and I realised there's actually a lump there. Within half an hour, when I enter the clinic, I already get my diagnosis and know what's going on. So of course, the world collapsed on me. The first emotion, I was really, really very frightened. And the second thing that comes to my mind is um, my children and my family. That, that's all I care about. I did immediately let them and also they know that the grandmother passed away because of cancer. So I didn't really want to use this, so I tell them, you know, mommy is not well. So what we're going to do is I'm going to receive treatment very regularly. This medication actually will destroy all the good cells and the bad cells inside the body. Even my hair, you know, everything will be gone. Because I think this is the most uh, visual part that they will see. For me, is I assure them a lot. My husband went together with me to the clinic. So we actually both received the news at the same time. Personally, I felt that he probably felt more devastated than me because that's what a caregiver thinks. I've never been afraid of needles, so when they told me I need to help inject the booster jab, I was pretty okay with it. The nurses will teach me how to do it, how to do it the correct way. As pain-free as possible, I think that's the whole idea. I, I have to say, he really, really did a very great job. Really. So I think he can be a nurse also. I was very touched because um, if you can see, uh, she is actually quite, quite concerned with how his hair looks. <laughs> so it's actually a big part of him. Like I am very thankful for what he has did for me. It's really something that he made time for it. In a way, I'm grateful for this journey. It brought us to different levels of commitment and, and the love that we have for one another. I want to thank her for her positivity and her resilience throughout this journey. That rubbed off me so I can support her in any way that I can. Wow, you are the cancer warlord, I tell you. <laughs> because I, I, I do, uh, it's, it's a single side, you, you have to sort of uh, b balance your weight because otherwise you'll be, you know, the, the weight w will be heavier on one side. Uh, one thing to highlight is um, mastectomy bra are generally non wired. We want to allow the blood circulation to move as freely as possible. For the past one year, you have been focusing on treatment. You know, what I should do, what I should eat, what is the healthy diet, what is the exercise I should be doing. It's so fulfilling. It's all about myself. Actually, this whole thing is a blessing in disguise. I am very thankful that I actually uh, have this experience, this journey. My priority is my children and my family. When you know that your days are numbered, you, you want to choose to spend your day on the things that are important to you. That's why all of a sudden it becomes very clear to you what are the priorities in life. It makes me comprehend so much thing in life that I probably wouldn't if I've never um, encountered this whole thing.